We rotated the squad ever so slightly, playing some of the younger talents, and as you can see from the league table, we are second to Real Madrid. For the love of... It's happened again. Uh, this time it wasn't our fault. Uh, Atletico Madrid have got so far in the Europa League that they are playing Red Bull Salzburg and the fixture in the league will have to be moved. So instead of playing Atletico at the tail end of March, we're now going to be playing them at the start of April. So it could be a Madrid doubleheader. Um, but I'm not actually going to make any plans to record the Atletico Madrid game and make even more of a fool of myself. It's going to happen when it happens. Okay, uh, due to the waterlogged pitch at uh, Vallecano's home ground, uh, we're going to be playing Real Madrid right now. Um, I was expecting to rotate and rest the squad a little bit. But actually, this could suit us a little bit better. Real Madrid are going to play another league fixture in the next three days before they play us in the next round of the Spanish Cup, the, the second leg of the semi-finals. With the first leg finishing nil-nil, it's all to play for. I'm not too sure you can say the same thing about Granada and Bilbao. It looks like whoever goes through from this El Clasico semi-final will be playing Bilbao for the Spanish Cup. So if we have a look at our team selection today, once again we're going to commit to playing the Barca style. That worked really well for us last game. Unfortunately we didn't score though. The one change, the one crucial change I think we're going to make is we're going to try and surprise Real Madrid by playing Usman Dembele instead of Ansu Fati. Fati has um, got injured in three of his last three games been tired in three of his three last games and performed less than a 6.8 rating now Usman we've fallen out and we're trying to rebuild the relationship to the best of our abilities however he's on thin ice he hasn't registered for the first half of the season we've registered him for the second half of the season and we'll try to get him playing a bit more regularly if he doesn't pull up his socks and he doesn't play as well as Ansu Fati or Coutinho or anyone else who might want to play on this right channel, he will be dropped, we will allow his contract to run out and he will leave us at the end of the season. So no pressure. At the team, yep, he is lacking that sharpness but we're hoping to build that up. Real Madrid are playing Lucas Vasquez at right back and Nacho at left back. Oh. I think there's a good chance we can get around them here with Depay and Dembele, Mingueza and Alba. I think we can win the battle on the outside of the park. We can get around this Madrid team. Okay, that's some useful information. That's straight away we're going to go down to instructions. We're going to stretch the game wide. We're going to play out wide. Do we want to run at defence? I think we're going to run at defence as well. Those full backs. One is a right winger playing right back. One is a centre half playing left back. Hopefully those changes are going to help us. We'll just have to see. Edri involving himself in the play. Mangueza sort of controlling it here, but Kroos is intercepted and he's going to try and get Real Madrid going. Long ball over the top, Benzema. Blocked, tackled. Something happened. The defender stopped it and Stegen collects the ball. 
Benzema coming deep to collect the ball. Real Madrid. It's a good spell of possession for them. Hazard's played Modric through. Good save to Stegen. Oh, good save. Hazard turns his man. We stop him from getting the cross in. He's forced back to Nacho. Kroos. Casemiro. Modric. Hazard. Oh. They've completely outplayed us there. Multiple times. Multiple times we had chances to close down space. They just picked us apart with their moving pieces. A cheeky little back heel from Modric. Hazard first time top corner. Hazard. One on one with Dembele. He's forced back the way, so that's good pressing from Dembele. Modric looks to try and create. Kroos is there. Shot from range to Stegen. Good save. We can get the ball away now. Young cuts back to Memphis. Is there another pass on? Jordi Alba's in there for support. Pedri, edge of the box. Oh, no. Edge of the six-yard box, and he's tucked it wide. I think he was trying to place it in the corner. Created absolutely nothing today. Absolutely nothing. We don't deserve to go through. Real Madrid 1, Barcelona 0. Disappointing. In hindsight, maybe trying to play Dembele from the start was poor. As soon as we uh, fell behind, we tried to correct our... Our formation by taking Busquets off and playing some more attacking players. Again, the XG is there, but the actual goals are not coming. So we're out. We're out of the Spanish Cup. And hopefully, it won't be the same in the Champions League. And here we are. On the eve of the second leg against PSG, we have a one-goal deficit to overturn. I guess an advantage for us is we are playing away, so if we score two or more today, it leaves PSG with uh, quite a job on their hand. So, this is the lineup that I think we're going to go with. Apart from Mangueza, we're going to put um, Titi in the back line. Aguero's going to start up top, Depay on the left, Fatty on the right. Um, anything else you want to do? Probably put the reserve keeper on the bench just in case Tristegan gets a knock. Actually, Yusuf Demir's played better than Fatty, so we're going to play Fatty. So this is the lineup we're going to go with. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try and score first. If we if we concede first, I think that's the tie over, and we're going to have to wait until next season for some European success. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. Yeah, the scoring first does matter to us. So the PSG side, they have a perfect record coming into this game. I think it is the same lineup they used last game. We've only got a one goal deficit to overturn, and our form's been a wee bit inconsistent with the 1 0 losses in the league, in the Spanish Cup, and the Champions League. But other than that, it's been a pretty solid first season for us. Here is Barcelona boss Demir and Aguero. 1 2, and Memphis Depay is through. How has he missed? He's not even forced Dunaruma into a save there. It's a good move, don't get me wrong, but goodness, we should have scored there. Not much going on in this highlight so far. You know, Mendes, Neymar. That's it, force Neymar back. Bappe came deep for the ball. Ramos puts his foot on the ball. Looked like he was going to go long there. He's now played it out onto left for Neymar, who cuts inside. He's tricky, isn't he? Slips it through to Neymar. And Messi scored. Oh. They've just got so much quality in their team. It didn't really look like the player was going anywhere. Neymar spun our defender. And Mbappe puts it back out to Neymar. No one picks up Messi. He's free in the box there. Oh. Okay. I'm really regretting not scoring first now. Sergio Ramos. Danilo Pereira, Neymar, go and get a foot in. Oh, switches to the right wing for Messi. Verratti's going to try and put Mbappe through. I hope that's offside because it was a beautifully weighted ball. Defender couldn't keep up with Mbappe. Goal awarded. 2 0 PSG. Jeez. Okay, Neymar switches 
too messy. He plays in Verratti. Oh, he's absolutely onside. It's a perfect way to pass, and Mbappe just tucks it into the net. We're three goals behind on aggregate. We've not scored in a game and a half against PSG. We need to score three in the second half now. I'm going to tell him it's terrible. I'm just at a loss for the changes we can make. Jordi Alba's played poorly. Do we take Alba off? Uh, would it make much of a difference? Probably not. Um, tell the defenders we're not happy with their work and actually individually to pie. Uh, I'm going to tell him that I wasn't happy with that miss. Need to try and create something. So naturally, PSG have the first highlight of Vinaldo and Mendes on the left side of the box. Cross comes in. Neymar looks for the cutback. Danilo Pereira just wide. Okay. Whew. That really would have been game over. Another highlight for PSG. You know, Mendes. Danilo. Mbappe's come short for the ball. Verratti and Mbappe player 1 2. He tries to slip Messi in. Dest clears. A PSG recover possession. Neymar. It's three on the day. It's four on aggregate. It's just too easy for PSG right now. I know we've committed bodies up the field, but that is too easy. Just a slipped in little ball. I guess Manguez is not quite up to the uh, speed of the match so far, but that's horrid. That's back for Dest. De Jong. And we're forced all the way back to MTT. Do we have any options? Do we have any runners? Mingueza. Can he try and get the ball in? He goes to the byline. Cross comes in. Header. Back post. Luke De Jong. Okay. It's a little bit more respect on the scoreline there. I think it was a cross from Mingueza. Took it to the byline. Whipped it. Back post. Memphis to Pi, it was with the header. Luke De Jong at the far post to head it in. Got a highlight kickoff now. Or a kickoff highlight, as it were. Di Maria. Guerrera. Pempe. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them slow down the game a little bit now. There you go. Continuo pinches the ball off his Brazilian teammate Neymar. De Jong. Ah, uh, draws the ball straight into Mendez's path and yes, she recover possession. Sergio Ramos, ball cut out by Mingueza. Coutinho's away. Mendez couldn't get in the tackle. Coutinho's got to score. Donnarumma stood up and he blocked expertly. It looks like we may have a highlight here. Badashie on the ball. Guerrero came deep for this one. Plays with De Jong and now Guerrero is through. And scores. Okay. We need another two in 12 minutes. So it's not it's not completely over yet. It's actually a nice passing move. And that's one of the things we want to see a bit more from our striker. Coming deep is that false nine to collect the ball. Luke de Jong slips in Aguero. Donnarumma, as big as he is, he couldn't get to the bottom corner there. All right. There's a little bit of hope. Just a bit. Now oh, we have a free kick. Continuo. Badashie. Oh, another save from Dunaruma. If we would have taken our chances today, we may have gone through. Memphis, cross comes in. Cleared away. Coutinho. Tackle by Baynat. Marquinhos. Di Maria. Can we take advantage of Marquinhos being so high up the pitch? Danilo Pereira. Di Maria, cross to the back post. Neymar. We needed to commit bodies up the field but maybe if we had a more conservatively positioned right back Neymar wouldn't have scored there yeah he just he uh, the run's just not tracked by Mangueza. 5-2 on aggregate 4-2 on the day that's pretty much game over Memphis crossed the back post saved by Donnarumma decent header from Luke de Jong but we've not. Our finishing hasn't been there today. Donnarumma goes long. Icardi, Vinaldum, 
Get out a blaze of cardi through. I've cut through us like a hot knife through butter, and it's five. You can't blame our attacking system on that. That was just a long ball. First of all, should Akali be winning? Second of all, there's no trait, there's no tracking of his run. To Stegen stayed up for as long as he could. I think the centre halves have had quite a poor game, to be honest. Getting a heck load of highlights for this game, but unfortunately, they're uh, they're not showing us in the best of light. We had another chance with Coutinho there. And Guazer on the right goes to the byline. Coutinho, De Jong, Luca De Jong, Minguesa. We've scored three. But we've conceded five. So we can score when we go attacking. It's just... Well, we're not going to score two, I don't think. If we score two in the next three minutes, that would be sensational. But we can take positives from this performance. If not defensively, then going forwards. Yeah, the four minutes of stoppage time is going to run out. Pretty sharpish. PSG 5, Barcelona 3. 6-3 on aggregate. I had a couple of decent performances. Luke de Jong actually come on with a goal and an assist there. Their XG was 2.6, so they absolutely deserved it. They bossed the possession. I just can't help but feel... If Depay would have scored his goal and Coutinho took his chance, that could be our extra two. Okay, next time we'll play, if we can, the two Madrid games. Play these, these four league games off screen. Uh, if we just take a look at the first division. We have two games in hand, so assume we win both of them, we'll only be two points behind Real Madrid going into the El Clasico. It could be a very important game there which is pretty much a must win if we want to compete for the title um, top four is not guaranteed by any stretch but we do have those games in hand three over Bilbao actually who is our next game Flacco Madrid is still down in ninth and actually 10 points off European football so maybe a move to make in the transfer window would be to see if some Atletico players want to join Barca um, oh, speaking of Atletico, I saw this earlier. Du, 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 du. Antoine Griezmann, obviously on loan uh, from us. They have the option to buy him for £34 million. I'm not sure they will. In his 20 league appearances, he only has two goals, two assists, with an average rating of 6.72. So we'll see if they're interested. He's only got four... Yeah, okay, he's done okay in um, continental competitions, scoring another two in his six appearances. I think, look, at the end of the day, if they pick up the option to sign him for £34 million, that's 34 in the bank, and we get his 350000 a week off the budget, which is 11% of our entire wage bill. So that could be positive. Alternatively, he's still a very good player, and I wouldn't mind having him. Yes, he'll be, you know, 30 years old or on the wrong side of 30 by the time that, uh, by the time he would return to the club. But I'd still, I'd still have him back. There's definitely a place for him in the squad. He can play on the right, through the middle, on the left, um, especially with Aguero's stamina fading and, um, and our new striker not quite hitting the heights uh, expected for Barcelona's man to lead the line. So it could be, could be an opportunity for Griezmann to play that false nine role at the top of the pitch for us. So we'll just see if Atletico decide to take up the offer. Um, could be good, could be bad. Um, what am I talking about? It, it, it's pretty much positive. We're either going to get 11% off our wage budget or we're going to sign a fantastic player that we haven't been able to use this season for next campaign. So we're going to be playing the next four games off screen uh, before we come back for the Atletico and Real Madrid highlights.